Hi, I am Jessie Mortensen, and I am one of the teachers at CCA. I run the Fine Arts Department. I'm the uh, program coordinator, and I also teach drawing and design, advanced drawing, seminar and art, AP 2D, AP drawing, and I run the conservatory program. We also have five or six other art teachers that teach everything from sculpture, advanced sculpture, AP 3D, photo, um, photo imaging, digital photography, advanced digital photography, digital art and design. Um, other teachers teach drawing and design as well, um, as well as painting and advanced digital art and design. Um, we have, I'm going to show you, our course progression. So our course progression is not, you don't have to go in a straight line. You can start off with drawing and design and then go to advanced drawing or painting, or maybe you want to try sculpture. Um, if you know that you really, really love working with the digital arts, you can jump right into digital imaging or fine art digital photography. We provide the cameras, we have the computers, and we have um, industry standard software. So we work with Photoshop and Illustrator. Um, and we also have advanced sections of all of our classes. So you could start off with drawing and design and then jump to digital photography. Um, then go to sculpture and then maybe the painting or advanced drawing um, or try one of the digital art classes. And then we have our kind of uh, more advanced classes. So we have our intermediate levels and then we also have our APs and portfolio building classes such as seminar and art, uh, the AP 2D, AP drawing, AP 3D. Uh, we also, in our photo imaging class, Mira Costa also does articulated um, credit for the photo imaging and for the advanced digital arts class. Um, and you can also take an AP art history class as well. So we have four different AP um, arts focused classes. And I'm going to show you examples from all of our different classes and talk about each class a little bit as we go through. So drawing and design is our foundations class, and we really like all of our students to take this class. It is required for some of our intermediate and advanced classes, but like I said, um, for the three-dimensional classes and the digital classes, you don't necessarily have to take drawing and design to start with, but it does help you if you do go into those classes um, because we go over color theory, uh, perspective, how to draw from life, how to see as an artist. We also go through a little bit of art history um, and just a lot of technique and a lot of art theory. So it's highly, highly recommended that you do take these classes and it is a prereq for some of the other advanced classes. And we found that students that start off with drawing and design have a much, much more structured way that they look at art. They have a really, really strong foundation and they end up being stronger artists as they go through the program. One of our intermediate classes is also our painting class. And with painting, you would work with any painting medium. So you would start with maybe watercolor and then go to gouache and acrylic and sometimes even advance into oil. And these are some examples from our students in the last year or two. One of our other um, beginning and intermediate classes is sculpture. So we work really heavily with clay in the beginning uh, because there's so much to learn about clay and so many different directions you can go with it. So everything from hand building to working on the wheel, working with slab and coils. Um, we also work in other materials. Um, you may work with FEMA clay or you may work with balsa um, and construct things in wire. So there's Anything that's three-dimensional, you'll start to cover in sculpture. One of our beginning digital art and design classes, um, you work with everything on the computer. So you're creating things in Photoshop and in Illustrator, and we work with a lot of design. And then also in digital art, you might work in more advanced sections, and you might do some vector images, um, a lot of kind of commercial art-esque type theme things as well. 
We also have digital photography classes. So the difference between the digital art and design classes and photography is in the digital arts classes, you are taking an image and manipulating it a lot on the computer. With photography, you're creating the source image with a Nikon camera, and then you may do a little bit in Photoshop or Illustrator to alter the image, but you're creating the source image. So it's more about working with the camera than just working with the computer. And these are examples from all of our different classes at CCA. So these are some of the different photography classes. If you really, really enjoyed the drawing sections in the drawing and design class, we also have an advanced drawing class where you take everything that is a drawing medium. So everything from just regular pencil, graphite, uh, ballpoint pen, flare pens. Um, you might work with grease pencils or pen and ink, uh, pastel, oil pastel, um, charcoal, anything that you can draw with, we cover an advanced drawing. And it's really taking those drawing skills up to a higher level. And these are just some examples from previous classes, previous years. This is a mixed media piece uh, with ink and then watercolor wash. And then another charcoal piece. In the advanced digital arts class, you take everything that you learned in the beginning digital art and design class. And we also partner with our teacher partners with um, a lot of community um, outreach. So you may work with designing t-shirts for a store or, you know, creating, you know, paddle boards or skateboards. So that's another aspect to the advanced class is using real world applications and kind of going out in the community as well as really advancing your digital art skills and learning kind of everything there is to learn um, with Photoshop and Illustrator. And in our advanced sculpture class, you're taking everything that you learned in beginning sculpture and putting it to application. So you may be creating your own set of dishes, masks, elevated vessels. You may be working with polymer clay, creating series of things, salt and pepper shakers. These are some close-ups of some of the other images. So really refining what you learned in the beginning classes and taking all of that knowledge and growing. Our seminar and art class is very similar to the AP classes, but it's not the amount of work that is required for AP. So it's a wonderful portfolio building class. You work with all different alternative mediums. Um, really, you have your choice in a lot of the mediums that you're using. So if you really love working in digital arts, you can work in digital arts. If you like working with fibers, um, I usually do embroidery sections with the students. Um, if you are really into painting and more or maybe even just drawing, um, you can take those skills and push them to another level. So really working up as you go along. And one thing I really want to stress with students, because obviously you're coming in from eighth grade looking at the high school level, um, we teach you how to do all of this. So we don't expect you to walk in the door and immediately know how to do a full portrait of someone. Um, or know how to do all these programs. These are the things that you learn as you progress through these classes. Every single one of these students was in the same spot that you're in right now. So as you work through the program, you become an incredibly proficient artist. And these are some imagery from our photo imaging class and our advanced photography class. So these are the intermediate and advanced photography sections. And these are some of the cameras that we use in the class as well. And in photo imaging, you may focus a little bit on more like an advertising, commercial art aspect of things, as well as fine art in the advanced photography. And I mentioned before that we have several different AP art classes that you can take after you've taken a few of the more beginning and intermediate classes. Um, we have AP2D, which is AP2D design. 
And that covers everything from drawing, painting, digital art, photography. Um, it's just a little more design element in the class. And then we have AP Drawing, which is a, tends to be just a little bit more of, more of a fine art twist on things, uh, more traditional art forms, um, where you're doing more drawing and painting, not as much digital art, even though digital painting is actually accepted by the AP board now. And then there's also an AP 3D class. So you're taking everything you learned in sculpture and applying it in a three-dimensional format. Um, where you can work with clay, you can work with fibers, you could work with balsa, wire, uh, mixed media. And we also, the one really unique thing in CCA is that we have a conservatory program. And none of the other high schools um, in our district have a conservatory program. And the conservatory is taking everything that you're learning in the day classes and applying it to a very, very high level, a more professional or college level. We do a lot of community outreach. Um, our students published uh, a graphic novel called Jasper and Spirit Skies, and they were represented at Comic-Con um, quite a few times. And Kamikaze, uh, they also did a trip to Panama twice, and they are working with students in Panama to create another series um, of this novel where they're working with environmental stewardship um, and collaborating with the Envision um, Humanities Conservatory. So a lot of times the conservatories work together on projects. Uh, these are just some images from Spirit Skies, the novel that was published. In conservatory, we also work with professional artists. So you have a little bit more experience of what is expected in the art world as you uh, keep progressing. And these are just some examples of portraiture from when we worked with a portrait artist. Um, this painting is actually a scene from, um, we were creating really large sculptures uh, that went around campus. And this was, a painting a student did based on the cleanup from that day. So there was styrofoam filing everywhere and she snapped a quick photo of her friends and she ended up doing a really wonderful oil painting from that piece. So in conservatory, you work in a lot of different mediums. You may do um, art that ends up staying on campus. You may work on portfolio pieces. Um, we really try to do a broad range of things and students work together a lot on projects. So within, it's back. so within our EVA program, again, we have about 19 different classes that work with our day classes. And again, these are everything from the very, very fundamental classes like drawing and design, and then they move on through um, with the intermediate levels. So you might have painting or sculpture or photography class or digital art class. And then progressing on to the more advanced classes, which would be advanced drawing and seminar and the AP classes. And then if you really want to um, your sophomore year, you could apply to be part of conservatory. So conservatory is for 10th, 11th and 12th grade, because we really want you to kind of get your feet wet and really figure out what it is you like to do, because you may want to take an envision theater class and realize that you really, really enjoy theater as well. Um, so we have that freshman year where you can really take a lot of different classes and experience what it is that you really want to go into and what you want to pursue. Um, and again, we have a huge variety of Envision visual arts classes, so a lot of EVA classes, and there's a little bit for everything. And we, in, especially in the beginning classes, you're pretty much working against yourself as an artist. So we take you through everything, but if you're a little more advanced, you can challenge yourself a little bit higher in the projects. And if you are someone who's never picked up a paintbrush or a pencil to draw, we walk you through that as well. So it's really, really awesome to see students create and become the artists that we see in EVA. And the unique thing about the four by four at the academies is you are able to take an art class every term. 
So instead of having you know, the year long classes and a tighter schedule, the four by four actually allows you to have a little bit more time in your day to experience more arts, more electives. Um, so it's really, really a wonderful part of the program and part of the four by four experience is that you can find something that you love and really, really delve into it. And I've been at CCA now for 14 years and I love it. It's such a, a welcoming environment, especially for art students, very, very encouraged. Um, and I can't think of a place I would rather be. So if you ever have any questions, please feel free to reach out to me. My name is Jessica Mortensen and I can be found on the CCA's homepage. So please feel free to reach out if you have any questions about us or the program, I'd be happy to answer anything. All right, enjoy the rest of your evening. Thank you so much.